Okay, <clears throat> so this is the third and final video in this series of the um, Nelson Pass ALF J amplifier. Um, in the first video we went through and we built the power supply <clears throat> onto the chassis. On the second video, uh, unfortunately these were already built or 99.9% .9 these power amp modules were built but I did install them onto the heat sinks and I made up a wiring harness <clears throat> and that wiring harness is now connected to the power supply unit I have got a meter on DC volts across the resistor that we use to bias this amp up. I've checked, double checked, positive, negative, zero volts, positive, negative, zero volts and we know this produces 25 volts or thereabouts. We're connected up temporarily to the me crocodile off the mains so now is the, the time of truth if you like <clears throat> pointless waiting any further and away we go brilliant uh, we have got <laughs> Uh, two green LEDs, so we have a positive and negative rail. We've got the LEDs on the power amp module itself. They're lit up, so we know that's correct. We've got a bias reading of 0.69. Now, I haven't looked at the offset yet. Uh, I'm just going to give that just a few seconds. There's nothing untoward, there's no smoke. It all looks very stable actually. Uh, I'm just going to go and see if I can adjust the bias, which is this here I believe. Uh, that's, that's a bias as well I think. Um, if I can get this on here. Always the way in it. Twiddlers that don't know. I don't know which way to go. I'm now going clockwise, and that's going up. Right, so I'm going to wind this up to 300 millivolts. I'm going to take the 350. So I'm just going to leave that just for a little while. Yes, I can feel some heat. So I'm just going to leave that for a while. Uh, I think the, um, the spec is we can run it at 400 millivolts. Uh, but that's on a 4U chassis. Uh, this is the 5U. Um, and allegedly you can run them up to... We're going to 400 now. That is the design spec in a 4U chassis or heatsink. Oh yes, now it's warming up. Uh, <clears throat> I might run this at 450. I know uh, other 6L6, they, they run theirs in a 5U chassis up to 500 millivolts. Half a volt. So let's see, I'll just get me thermometer. Bear with me. So what do we got? So we're we're already up to twenty thirty degrees. on 
all the MOSFETs are st running at 30 degrees and that will creep up as time goes on. So I'm going to leave that and come back in a little while. So it's been about 15 minutes. Um, I don't know whether we can see this. These now 30, nearly 35 degrees, 34, 35 degrees on the MOSFETs now. The heat sink's getting warm. I'm just going to check exactly if you remember when, I, when we built this and tested this with no load without any equipment on the end of it we were at 25 25 plus volts per rail we're now 24.7 24.65 it's the nearest damn it 24.7 on both and that as you see as it warms up the bias drops down so I'm just going to tweak this back up a bit and you've got to hit a bit of a balance if you're driving it to, to its extreme you've got to get uh, it's a thermal and electronic balance bit of a balance and act some people say you can do it an hour in one hour I don't think you can I think it takes a day uh, uh, oh what we haven't done we haven't checked any uh, offset have we so I'll just check the offset whilst we're here so we know we're at 400 millivolts and we're going to go from zero to the speaker out outlet and we have got I don't believe that I can't quite believe that Six millivolts of offset. Well, I'm blessed. That's astonishing. <laughs> uh, it needs a little tweak uh, down to zero, but it's six millivolts. I'm more than happy with that. It's absolutely stable. It's not rocking around anywhere. It's brilliant. Uh, so that's testament, isn't it? So impressed with that. Uh, <clears throat> 36 creeping up. Uh, I'm going to take this, I'm going to force this a bit now. We're going to go to 450. Just gently, gently up she goes. Put a bit more, open that gate a bit more. So 450, we'll leave it at that for now. I'm just going to go and check this offset yet again. I can't believe that. Ah. So I don't know if you can see that on camera. We got 0.1 of a volt DC offset. That is, is and I haven't touched <laughs> I haven't touched any of that. I centred the position uh, of this offset pot when I installed it, but that's all I've done. I haven't touched it. So, wonderful. So, I'm going to give this another 15 minutes and I'll be back. So, it's been another 10 15 minutes. And the bias is dropping off as the temperature rises, which was to be expected. We've got now 42, nearly 45 degrees on the MOSFETs. So I'll just tweak this up a bit to the 450 as I want initially. Just look gently, gently, gently. Four fifty. That'll drop back down. Um, so it's been on what thirty minutes. 
let's just check our DT offset. I'm still shocked at that. I can't get my head around that one, but it doesn't matter. Got to have a bit of luck in life, haven't we? Uh, and we're at 3.6 millivolts of offset. Minus. Nothing to worry about. I would imagine I can zero that, but at the present sake I'm just going to leave it. So this is uh, amp board two. Yes, amp board two. And I'm going to leave that for another 10 minutes. Take another, it's getting quite warm now. The heat sink. Forty-five. I would imagine these will creep up to near 50 degrees. Something like that. So we're pulling 450. So it's nearly 1 volt, 900. So what's that? Nearly an amp. So I'm happy with that. I'm going to leave it another 10 minutes. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to do exactly the same process with the board number one which as you saw earlier is already built and we have a harness wiring harness ready to rock and roll um, so that will be my next part of this video and then after that we're going to bolt it all together into the chassis wire up the mains to the IEC <coughs> and the speaker and the signal input and we'll put some signal through it I'm not going to do any measurements. This whole this whole exercise, right from the very beginning, was all about non-technical. All you need is a multimeter to do this. Uh, a few light engineering tools, screwdriver, the a bit of ability uh, to follow a schematic, a few soldering skills, able to purchase a bit of. Uh, a, forget what they call this is is real cheap wire um, they call it uh, equipment wire come on focus there we go uh, it's 32 strands 0.2 millimeter equipment wire and it's ample for this you can go exotic but Again, right from the very outset, I didn't want to go exotic. The only exotic thing on here, really, are these input capacitors. They're one microfarad, and these gold, Muse gold, uh, and a bit of bypassing along with these. Other than that, everything is just common or garden. Probably the, the Bourne's pots uh, are a bit upmarket. But everything on this board is on the bomb list, the bill of materials that's on the DIY audio website. <clears throat> and all I've done is given you a visual representation, a movie, of exactly what 6L6 done, produced in the build guide. Uh, but this whole ethos is to get people into the hobby there's nothing to be frightened of. There's nothing here that can hurt. Uh, as long as you do all the due process, due diligence, all the mains is hidden away. There are no bare wires. You can't see anything. But everything's earthed out. It's all safe. Uh, <clears throat> anybody could do it. If I can do it, I'm sure half the world could do it. Because I'm not the brightest spark. So, for now... Uh, I'm going to leave this part of the video. We're going to come back. I'm going to do the other board. Just prove the other board on its chassis. On the heat sink. And then I'm going to put it all into, into one case. And we're going to run it up as an amplifier. See you soon. So here's our second amp board. <clears throat> I've already given it one tweak. Uh, this is number one board. Uh, it's been on about 15 minutes. I'm just going to lift this up to 450 on the right hand side, 
450 millivolts and our, <laughs> our offset is just floating around about the zero uh, good enough <clears throat> So I'll leave that for another 30 minutes and I'll come back and readjust if necessary. <clears throat> it's all looking good. Uh, as with the other amp board, uh, as the temperature rises, the bias drops down a bit. You've got to get to this equilibrium where you want it to be. Uh, so, what have we got? What have we got there? 42 degrees, 43, 40 degrees on the heat sink, 40 degrees, 43. Um, I'll just give this another little tweak. As I say, I wanted to run this at um, 450 millivolts of bias, so I'll just tweak this up and I'll tweak this up. You'll notice the offset will slightly change. Coming up, we're not in 50. So it's gone up just slightly. So it's just a balance and act. We'll just bring this down. Let's bring this down. Whoops. Wrong way. It was always the way, innit? So we've got 450. As near as damn it zero we'll leave that for another 15 20 minutes maybe half an hour and then what I'm going to do is put both of the amp boards on the bench we'll have to turn this round so that we can see it and I'll run both of them off this single power supply uh, and we'll see how she runs then I'll be back soon so there's the the two amp boards on the power supply, uh, both amp boards are set up for 450 millivolts of bias, and the D offset on this right hand one is exactly the same as the left hand one, and the left hand bias on this one is exactly the same as this one. It's around about well under 10 millivolts, it floats about a bit. Uh, so, all I need to do now. Uh, is to put the case together uh, I'll put the lid on it because these readings will change when it's inside the case and the, you get the thermal uh, energy build up it saturates the whole chassis in the case and these may need adjusting um, but that's going to be my next step um, which will probably be in the next video so again thanks for watching thus far uh, no drama, um, uh, nothing untoward at all really, it was quite simple. So I hope that was of help, um, I hope you're all well in our lockdown and this is what we need to be doing, this hobby, whilst we're in this lockdown situation. So this is Laverda, the implementer, bye for now, see you on the next video.